All right, guys, we're going to take a look here in the pregame editor and see what we need to do to be able to change the number of substitutes that were allowed in a competition. There's allegedly a way that you can do this using the basic pregame editor, though I haven't been able to find that. Everything that I've found and have tried has been with the advanced rules editor. So we're going to do it that way here. We will go to add nation rules. We're going to go here to current nations and over to Germany. And then we want to remember to add lower divisions and cups to existing structure and click on finish. All right, here we are. We're in Germany. And uh, you know, we can choose from um, all sorts of different things, but there's not much that we can do yet. What we want to do is go to rules and then convert to advanced rules and then yes. And this is what will allow us to actually change stuff that we want to change. Now, when you look at different lists of what you can do, it becomes a little bit complicated. You look at screenshots and you're like, well, where is it? How come I don't see anything? I see reserve rules, match rules, discipline rules, but where is substitutions? Where's anything like that that I want? Well, what we need to do first is we need to go over here to Bundesliga. So what you do is you click on show rules, rules for and click down on Bundesliga. And then we have to open this up again. Now, where is it at? You see, there's nothing here about substitutions, no league settings here. This is where it's confusing, right? This thing is created so that you have to know exactly where you're going to find it. It's in stages. You go to stages and see here you have different rules for the league or the cup. You go to stage zero league. And under this, now you have league settings. All right, so when we scroll down here in league settings, what do we see right here? Substitution rules. This is where you go to change your substitution rules. Now, there's a whole ton of stuff that you can choose from substitution rules. I mean, the number of things you can choose from here are crazy, right? You could have up to 15 substitutions from 15 guys on the bench, three plus one goalkeeper. You can do three from 10, three from 11, three from 12, three from three. You can have like just about every sort of thing you can think about, including um, varying rules that give you one more substitution in extra time. You could also use no subs allowed, and then you can also use the, the uh, rules of the highest division and so on. So no, no subs allowed, that would be your real hardcore mode, right? That's the way that uh, football was once upon a time. And so you could set it that way if you wanted, and uh, then uh, go ahead and save your editor data file or uh, export it as you wish. Um, now, uh, that's um, basically the way that you would have to do this. You can test the rules here and see, but um, it does mean that you have to save your changes first and go through all of that. We're going to look into uh, how this works a little bit later, later on, how rules testing works and all of that. But for now, just know that for substitution rules, at least in the advanced editor, you have to go through a whole bunch of menus to find it, and then you can finally have your fun and choose from all this stuff that's built into the game. I kind of wish that um, instead of having all these things to choose from, that it would just let you choose number of people and number of substitutions allowed and then anything special. That would probably be an easier thing to design and certainly would be easier to use, but ease of use is not the point here. That's pretty clear. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and hope that's helpful for you. I'll talk with you again later. Bye-bye.